my husband has a reduced allele at 17 repeats. And on axon one, he has two CAG repeats, one of 41 and one of 52. The neurologist said this is very rare and only in literature, which makes it even more rare that my son, or she has two sons, the CAG, one is 89 and died at 16. Does uh, having two CAGs increase in expansion? Yeah, I'm definitely going to need help for that. But let me let me try to attack it first because I, I think it's probably there's a little bit of misunderstanding about exactly what that is. Because in in general, it's not in in every cell of our body. You don't have the same CAG repeat. And even in blood cells, you may have variance in the number of CAG repeats. But it, but it typically. It's not just two numbers. And so, like I said, I think it, it depends a little bit on kind of what the readout of this exact test was. But I think the more important thing is not necessarily that there was two numbers given, but here's the issue. Both of those numbers are elevated, meaning that uh, the father had Huntington's. And I think the most important thing to know is that with juvenile onset, so a, a CAG repeat of 89, that almost always happens in the context of being passed on by a father. And in general, the longer the repeat in the father, the more likely it is to expand. So when a father passes on an expanded allele, so whether it's a 51 or what, what was it, whether it was a 41 or 52, if it's a man passing it on, it's more likely to expand into the range of JOHD. When women pass on expanded alleles, it's more likely to stay about the same. It's one of the reasons why approximately 90% of people who have juvenile onset, they got it from their dad. And so it's a phenomenon called anticipation. And we don't know why for why it is that for men, it's unstable across generations. For other diseases, it's women. So in another triplet repeat disease, like myotonic dystrophy, it's the women who, when they pass it on, expand. And so th this is very specific in, in the context of JOHD, that the expansion can happen when it gets passed on by a father. That, Sam, I'll let you see if you can comment on the readout of that test result and what that really means. Yeah, I'm not sure 100% what that means. I'm not sure what the 17 means, but I, I think I, I understand what the intent of the question is. Sometimes people do, you, you have a fourth chromosome that you get from your mom and a fourth chromosome that you get from your dad. And if you have an expansion of the CAG section of the Huntington gene on just one of them, you inherit Huntington's disease. And so what happens if you get that on both of the chromosomes that you inherit, your, both your mom and your dad have Huntington's disease, for example, then it doesn't add up. It's not as if the 41 and the 52 add up to 93, they, they act independently. And we know that people who inherit two copies of an expanded repeat in Huntington's disease don't have juvenile onset or a, a different course than anyone else as far as we know.